Remembering victims of gun violence, the community comes together at a local church with some sharing their personal tragedies. And that includes a Providence City Councilwoman who says more needs to be done to keep guns out of the wrong hands. Iowa News News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us now live in studio with the details that are new tonight. Caroline. Well, Mike and Shannon, in October, Governor Gina Raimondo signed legislation prohibiting domestic abusers from owning guns. It took years to get this bill passed. It was a big move for the state. But those who spoke at tonight's ceremony say it's not enough. For the fifth year, community members sat side by side inside First Unitarian Church in Providence, remembering victims of gun violence. I still remember you know, when his mother called me the next morning to tell me what happened and um, how she went to the morgue to identify him. Providence City Councilwoman Nirva LaFortune spoke a Tuesday night ceremony, sharing her story of loss for the very first time. Her significant other shot and killed randomly in New York City more than 10 years ago. Brilliant young man who was going to change the world, his community, and his life was taken away because someone had a gun in their hand, someone who should not have had a gun, and because they thought he was someone else. This national vigil for victims of gun violence was held in the capital city just days before our nation reflects on the fifth anniversary of the Sandy Hook school shooting in Newtown, Connecticut. I always, I always thought the, the most difficult thing for a parent would be to lose a child. And then I thought about losing a child by being torn up by bullets. Tuesday night, this quilt was hung at the center of the church, made from the clothing of people killed by gun violence here in Rhode Island. A somber ceremony with a call for change. There's already this pipeline into prison. Let's create pipelines into college. Let create, let's create pipelines into the workforce because this needs to stop. According to the FBI's numbers, 11,000 people fell victim to gun violence in the United States in 2016. That's up from 9,600 victims in 2015. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.